Hi, my name is Marlene. I'm 32 years old and I suffer from sudden sensor neural hearing loss. Oh, well, it all kind of happened um, in 2019, actually. It was uh, the day before of my birthday of turning uh, 30. <laughs> So I, it just kind of happened all of a sudden. Um, it was in the middle of the night where I had like um, a ringing of my ear, which I thought it was kind of simple, like just a ringing in the ear. And I thought it would go away. So I went back to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night. I actually woke up in the middle of the night and um, I had vertigo, which was so weird. I was like, okay, what's going on? And the ringing was so much more louder. And um, I was worried of calling off for work because I, I thought they were probably gonna think like, oh, she's calling off work because it's her birthday, you know, the next day. So um, I had to call off. I went into the emergency room. They told me it was something like maybe just earwax or something just stuck in there. But I I knew for myself, I knew something was, was wrong. Something was, it wasn't just like earwax. So I did go to the emergency room. I went to, and I visited two different doctors, all of them. Basically, we're saying like, oh, it's nothing too serious. And then uh, they gave me some vertigo pills, which were okay, but it still wasn't making any sense of why I had vertigo, why I couldn't hear, why the ringing was so loud. And that's when I started researching to to go to another doctor, some, someone, an ENT, something more specialized. That's where they started doing some, some tests. They gave me steroids, steroid shots in my ear and they said that, that should bring it back for my hearing. It should bring it all back. And um, a couple months later, uh, nothing changed. So that's when they diagnosed me with, uh, I think it was a sudden, um, pro sudden or profound hearing loss. And um, the next step was looking into a hearing aid, which I did get and it, it didn't help. It was more like I could hear, but everything was just more on my my ear, the only ear that I had. <laughs> and um, that's when I decided to look into something else, like more um, that would be more beneficial for for my other ear, my hearing loss. And that's when I found Dr. Uh, Volker, and she specialized in cochlear implants. She's the one who suggested that I would be a perfect candidate for a cochlear implant. And I decided, you know what, like that's if that's the next step, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the cochlear implant. So that was a, um, it was a, it was a very like tough decision for me to decide, you know, like I'm actually gonna get a surgery. I've never had surgery, and especially on my, <laughs> on my head. So it was a little bit scary. I did take a, a second to think about it, but I, I was more more than anything, I was excited to just go ahead and do it. You know, um, what am I going to lose in reality? I already can't hear. So if anything, it's just going to help me a little bit more to hear. So I was like, I have nothing to lose. I'm like, if it doesn't work, it, I mean, I was already like not hearing. <laughs> I was already not hearing. So if anything, it would, it would help me. Yeah. So um, that's when I decided to get the cochlear implant and uh, I was very excited. And I still am very excited. Uh, I've been on this journey, journey with uh, Dr. Lewis and it's been it's been so amazing the way that she's helped me um, and I, I've been able to hear. I actually never thought I would be able to hear anything. <laughs> but now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to continue on this journey to be able to hear a little bit better. Each time I come and I'm so surprised that I can hear every time a little bit more, a little bit more. And uh, I'm just so excited to continue to continue helping myself like to hear better, to be able to go back to at least back to normal a little bit you know not completely because i know it's not going to be the same but to be able to hear better yeah mm -hmm. amazing yeah. <laughs> i think amazing yeah just because i i never thought i would be back here being able to hear and it's just amazing how technology you know like who would have thought like yes let's make you hear again you know there's this little implant thing that we put in your head and you're going to be able to hear again it's just let's just say it would be unrealistic in a world but the technology that we have is just amazing you know
to be able to hear, to going from not hearing anything to being able to hear. It's just very, you know. Oh, I don't wanna get emotional, but um, definitely my family. Yeah, Dr. Lewis and um, Dr. Volpert. You really get to know the people that are there for you, honestly. I do have a moment, I think it was the last session that I had. Um, I've always liked music, I've always been in, like going to concerts, listening to music, but I was driving home from that, this last session that we had, and I was listening to, well, a song started, and um, I was able to hear the instruments in, in this ear, and it just made me feel like, I have come a long way. I was able to hear from this ear and I was able to hear the instrument very clearly, which was something I, I couldn't hear. I, I would hear the music before, but I was actually able to hear, I think it was a trumpet. It was a trumpet from the, the intro of a song.